Capricorn, what's up? How you doing? Time to go ahead and bust out your bonus reading for the month of November 2020, okay? If you would like information on scheduling a personal reading, that is in the description of the video, okay? Remember, we have transitioned over to 2222 live mini readings and same day readings only, okay? We will let everybody know when that goes back, but uh, for now, that's what we're focusing on, okay? So, uh, other than that though, yeah, anything you need to know is in the description of the video, okay? So let's go ahead and get right into this. What other important messages do we have for Capricorn Universe? I say other important messages because I am looking for details that I missed in the main November reading, okay? That's what I'm looking for here. You never really know what's going to come through, though, to be honest with you. So what do we got? Capricorn, what other important messages? Ooh, Knight of Pentacles just jumped right out for you there, okay? That's good. That's good. I, there's so many avenues I could take with that though. Okay. Um, could be something new coming in. Definitely. It could be a new path that you're on. Okay. I, I really don't know yet. I want to hold off on talking about it until I shuffle into this spread here. Three more shuffles. Here. Three more. Mm, page of Cups. Okay, something new coming in. Okay, cool. Something new coming in for sure. All right. But of course, there's past energy here. Okay. Um, so the person that you're dealing with right here, okay, there's something new coming in. There's new things coming in and there's past energy here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just tell it like it is. Okay. There's still past energy. Okay, you're still, you're, you're kind of, I don't, I don't think you mean to do this, but I do think that you're carving out a pathway moving forward that is maybe not the ideal terrain. Let's put it that way. Okay, it's not the smoothest path that you're carving out right now, okay? And it just has to do with this. Six of Cup reverse, Tower reversed, Okay. Could be a water sign you were dealing with. I have Taurus and Aries here. It could be a Taurus or an Aries that you're dealing with. But whatever it was uh, in the past, whatever it was that went wrong, you still haven't you still haven't fully moved on from that yet. Not fully. Even if you're sitting there saying, "Oh, Rich, don't know what he's talking about." That don't bother me no more. Oh yeah. Well, I bet you anything. Me and you sat down one on one. We started talking about it. I said, "No, no, 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 no. Let's dig it up." Dig it up. Tell me. Tell me a little bit more about this. You tell me the whole story. I bet you wouldn't be able to get through the whole story without getting pissed off, would you? Bet you wouldn't. I bet you wouldn't. You would get angry and pissed off reliving it because you aren't over it yet, okay? So, I think for most of you, though, you're very aware. Yeah, no, I'm not over that. You know, fuck them or whatever. But, uh... So the person that you're dealing with right here, uh, the past person, and we're going to pull a spread for the past person exclusively here in a minute, but the past person that you're dealing with here, um, I don't know, man. I think that they, there's a part of them that is waiting on, um, I don't want to say trying to reconcile, maybe waiting to hear from you. There's definitely that that feeling of, I know I'm going to hear from Capricorn again one of these days, you know? I know they're going to reach back out, or we're going to be in communication. I don't really know if I would consider it a reconciliation, though. I don't really think they're they're trying to reconcile here, but they're, they're definitely waiting for the day that you all can talk again, okay? They're waiting for the day that you all can talk again, and... Other than that, though, um, I think that they have kind of, they, they, this person could be a bit of a control freak, okay? Um, but you see, when you have somebody who's a control freak, they tend to, to go from one extreme to the other. Like, I'm trying to control, trying to control, trying to control, and then, no, nope, I'm just going to relinquish control. and just kind of with an attitude, kind of, nope, nope. Not doing it, you know? So I, I do think this person is relinquishing control and... Um, 
This person could be at a distance from you here. Judgment card, page of swords. Yeah, I think they've, they've been waiting on the day that you all can talk again. But I don't think they want to reconcile. I really don't. It's kind of weird. A little bit weird. As soon as I started shuffling into that spread, it felt funny. It felt funny, you know? I don't know any other way to explain it. You readers probably know what I'm talking about. Now. Whenever you're pulling energy in, uh, you start to get little feelings of what's about to come through or something to that effect. And this one it felt funny the minute I started shuffling into it. Anyway, though, let's look a little bit more at this past person here. And I'm thinking that most of the Capricorns here are going to be able to watch past person and new person. Okay. But let's look at the past person first here, because you have past things and new things you're dealing with here. Past person Capricorn is dealing with. If you're not dealing with a past person, this is not for you, okay? Okay, the Eight of Wands again. The Eight of Wands again. This person could definitely be at a distance from you, but the thing is, is I do feel like they want to communicate. They have, and I don't, when I say they want to communicate, I don't, like, a lot of people kind of take that to, um, I mean, oh, when is this person going to reach out? Well, they may not reach out, but they still have a lot of things they want to say, if that makes sense. You know, they still have, like, I think if this person sits around and plays conversations with you in their mind over and over and over again, you know what I mean? That doesn't necessarily mean they're going to reach out. Maybe they will. We'll see. But uh, when I say that, that they want to communicate, I mean more along the lines of this person is very obsessively sometimes, I think, um, running conversations with you in their head, imagining what they would say or what they want to say, you know, things of that nature. Does that make more sense when I say that? They do have a lot of things they want to say, but uh, let's see here. Two more shuffles here, two more. Six of Swords Reverse. Yep, see? Told ya. Told you. Okay, six. Oh, see? Okay, they got Six of Cups. They got Six of Cups. The Emperor, again, could definitely be an Aries for some of you. Uh, I've noticed that y'all cardinal signs like to hang out a lot. <laughs> uh, over my, in my years, let me just sidetrack for a second. In the years that I have spent, when I say years, I'm talking... Oh, about 13 years that I've spent um, observing and, and, you know, in the astrological realms. Um, I, that's one thing that I've noticed. Cardinal signs, for some reason, they dig each other, man. Y'all, cardinal signs like to hang out a lot. Okay, there's always some crazy, strange mixture of, no oh, Capricorn and Cancer and Aries and, you know what I mean? It's just like <laughs> Libra, you know, and... Uh, Anyway, though, it doesn't have to be you all. It could be anybody. I've just something I've noticed over the years. Anyway, um, yeah, I do think that this person is definitely um, making a decision, probably not to reach out. I don't think they're actually going to, okay? But they do sit around and think about you all the time. And they think they replay conversations in their head. Now, I don't really think this, this is negative. I don't think it's a negative talk because the Six of Cups is in the upright here, okay? And the Six of Pentacles is right next to it. So this Six of Swords reverse, 666, uh-oh. I didn't plan that. <laughs> I really didn't. I swear to God. These are all tied in, okay? Uh, the Six of Swords reversed is unable to transition on. Still thinking and, and thinking about it and rolling it through their head. Thoughts rolling around over and over and over and over and over. You know what I'm saying? But I think it's positive. Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Okay? Um, hmm. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. But yeah, I do think that they um, have made up their mind that they're not going to reach out. They're going to wait on you. Or at least wait on a sign. At least maybe wait on either a sign or the feeling. Like, you know, does that make any sense? Tower reversed. Hangman. Okay, I think they're going to wait on you. They're, they're waiting for the right opportunity. Maybe that's what I'll title this video. They're waiting for the right opportunity. So, no telling when or if that's going to come around anytime soon. Because from what I'm seeing, you aren't so feeling so positive about it. From what I'm seeing there. 
Not really. Not really. Okay. Now we're going to move on from that. And I'm going to throw in a couples reading. Okay. Uh, this is kind of randomly just tossed into, because I have received comments and requests to do couples readings for a long time. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. Let's, let's just experiment with this. To be 100% honest with you, I'm really not digging it. I'm really not feeling it for a lot of the signs that I've done. But I at least want to do it and throw it out there, and then maybe that'll get something rolling that'll actually pop off and be more successful in the future. I don't know. But I wanted to do it. Okay, couples. This is for Capricorns in a relationship. One more thing before I get this spread laid out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and assume that something's wrong. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. If you're in a relationship and your love life is all fine and good and dandy, what are you watching me for? What are you watching me for? You know, well, you don't you don't come to metaphysics for clarity on your love life when it's oh rainbows and unicorn parts and skittles falling from the sky. It doesn't work that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that there's an issue in your relationship or you wouldn't even be here. Okay. Anyway, let's get six shuffles here. One, two, three, Three more. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> okay. All right. Two of wands in the reverse overall here. Okay. So I think the overall issue here is that somebody uh, could be dealing with a fire sign, but uh, somebody here may be a little bit too impulsive, okay? One, the other, or both of you may be a little bit too impulsive. Now, what does that mean? That could mean you just say something without thinking. Uh, you may just do something without thinking. You just An impulse hits you, and you act on it, you know? We don't really sit and think about, okay, what's going to happen if I say this this way? Or what's going to happen if I do this thing? Okay, two of wands reversed is the overall issue right here. Uh, it looks to me, I don't know how long this is going to last between the two of you, okay? Because you have tower energy in here, okay? You have tower energy. The underlying issue here is the world in the reverse, okay? The two of you came, what frequency were you on when you came together with this person, okay? I don't know about you. Well, actually, I do, but just for argument's sake and, and the sake of conversation, I don't know about you. But every single failed connection I have ever, 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 ever had, I can trace it back to the frequency I was on when I came together with them for the first time, or when we first connected, when we first linked up, okay? That'll tell you everything you need to know. And this world reversed here, not only do I think you're dealing with a karmic soulmate, but I think that uh, one, the other, or both of you, what frequency were you on when you came together? They had some unfinished business that hadn't been tended to. They got buried, right? Could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. Uh, the person that you're dealing with here, though, I don't, I, I don't think that they have any bad intentions. I really don't. I really don't. They may keep certain things to themselves, and they may um, want to, you know, they may, like, they're a little bit closed off because they don't want to start fights, don't want to start arguments. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. At this point, what it's gotten to now, I think that the level of uh, negativity between the two of you has reached a point to where it's, it's a, th a thin frozen lake, okay? A thin frozen lake. It's probably about, about, to, about to collapse. King of Swords, Queen of Swords, both reversed. At this point, are you all even really able to communicate with each other in a nice, calm, loving way? At all? Ever, ever? Ever, never, ever, never, ever? Okay, because once this shit right here keeps going and going and going and going and going and going, okay, we're automatically at each other's throats. You know, it doesn't matter who starts talking or who starts fighting. We're both automatically guarded and we're both have, we both have bad attitudes towards each other every time we speak. Then you're asking for it. You're asking for it. You're straight up asking for it, dude. Okay. 
So, that doesn't really look very positive, Cappies. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Looks like I don't know if it'll survive to next summer. I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Okay. So, damn. Damn. You might just want to go ahead and let it go, though. Maybe that's not a bad thing. Maybe that's not a bad thing. Maybe a lot of you are actually involved in a situation that that negative energy has been, it's like a snowball. It's been rolling down the hill to the point to where it's just so big, there's no stopping it. So you got to jam a stick in that wheel and get out of it. Maybe that's what you need. Maybe you need to get out of it. Maybe. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. Okay. So anyway, let's look at the new person here. I saw the Knight of Pentacles page of cups up there at the top of your first spread. New things coming in. Talking to somebody new. Got your eye on somebody new. There's that Capricorn card right there. Somebody else could be dealing with another Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. That really honestly didn't feel negative. As weird as that is. It, 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 so it always gives a card a different dynamic. Like if I'm reading for a Scorpio and the death card comes out. Or if I'm reading for an Aquarius and the star comes out. Or if I'm reading for a Virgo and the hermit comes out. You know, when, 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 you're, when I'm reading your sign and your sign's card comes out, it gives it a different dynamic. If that makes any sense. So that didn't really feel negative, not really. Three shuffles here, three more. Boom, Ace of Swords reversed, okay. Queen of Cups, Nine of Cups reversed, come on, man. Oh, come on, man. Don't make me go into that. Don't make me go on that tangent today. Okay, I figured out a shorter, simpler way to explain it, okay? Nine of Cups is emotional independence. Nine of Pentacles is financial independence, okay? Those are the two cards of independence. So most of us are entering into relationships under Nine of Cups reversed mode, okay? That's emotional codependence. So what will be the difference in... Entering into a relationship emotional codependent and entering into a relationship financially codependent. Think about that. Think about that. Those of you, are you really going to put up with somebody who's just getting with you to fill that financial void? Are you going to put up with that? Not for long, are you? Not if that's the only reason they're with you. And those of you who, who are very aware of it. No, okay, okay, well, yeah. I, I want that leverage over them. I want that financial leverage over you. That still isn't going to last very long. Okay, so Nine of Cups reverse is emotional codependence. You need to be emotionally independent in a relationship just like you need to be financially independent. Okay, or at least working towards it. Okay, we got lots of people out here who, uh, you know, you got to be bringing something to the table financially. You got to be bringing something to the table emotionally. And right now... One, the other, or both of you is not bringing anything to the table emotionally. You, you have no emotional integrity, no emotion. Again, I don't know who this is. Capricorn cross watcher. This is an energy, okay? Um, but yeah, it's the energy of emptiness and loneliness. And uh, yeah, that's a very faulty foundation to build a relationship on. Very faulty, okay? Very, very faulty. You got to be doing something, bringing something to the table here, okay? So anyway, Queen of Cups upright though. Okay, so uh, I do think that one of you has your emotional integrity, your emotional backbone a little bit more sturdy than the other. Okay, uh, Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands. So I'm feeling like I don't think Nine of Cups reverse belongs to the Queen of Cups. So whoever it is here that's Queen of Cups, whoever is emotionally in, uh, independent, the other person, Queen of Wands, I think is Nine of Cups reverse. Okay, see Queen of Wands, she is a performer. She has an image to uphold. So she's lonely and empty on the inside, but you may not realize it. You may not realize that this person is actually very lonely and needy. They, I think this person is, whole, they're, they're covering themselves with a cloak of, of confidence and, you know, I'm, I'm good, I'm confident, I'm independent, I don't need anybody. And, you know, they got this cloak, that fiery cloak over them. But on the inside, they're actually really, really broken and have no self-esteem, no self-confidence. Uh, especially if you're dealing with a fire sign. That's a huge fire sign thing. Uh, but it doesn't have to be a fire sign. That's very fiery energy anyway um, to put that cloak over you. And on the inside, they're actually very, very broken and lonely. Okay? I don't really know um, 
Hang on. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, jumped out on the table here. Hang on. Or on the floor, rather. Ace of Pentacles. So there is potential here, the Emperor. But these things need to be addressed. They need to be worked on. They need to be addressed and worked on, okay? As much potential as we have here. Again, those codependent energies, uh, be it emotional or financial, aren't a surefire way to wreck the relationship, but if they're not tended to, they will, okay? If they're not tended to and something's not done about it, it will. It's a very threatening force. Let's just put it that way. It's a very threatening force. You can always work to fix and build, okay? But if you have an issue, if I'm cruising down the road and all of a sudden one of my lug nuts gets a little bit loose, if I don't pull over and tighten that motherfucker, then eventually my wheel's going to fly off and I'm going to crash. You have to work towards the issue, okay? Or else it's just going to get worse and worse and worse. The wheel's going to wobble harder and harder and harder the longer you go. And You see what I'm saying? That makes sense? Makes sense? I know it makes sense, damn it. I don't know why I'm asking you. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, though, now it's meat and taters time, y'all. My favorite time. Things to watch out for and advice moving forward. I call this meat and taters because anybody, anybody can take something from this spread. Anybody, okay? Things to watch out for and advice moving forward. Meat and taters time, meat and taters time. <laughs> Capricorn, ba-boom, king of swords, okay. That feels kind of like advice, okay. I would like to invite you to make friends with your logical mind, okay. Now, I'm not saying that your emotional mind is bad, but uh, more often than not, we have a tendency to swing more one way than we do the other, you know. Like there's some people who are way more logical and they don't like to use their emotional mind for anything, Okay, and then on the other side of that coin, there's people who are way too emotional and don't use their logical mind for anything, okay? Well, both are equally wrong in their own right. You were given a logical and an emotional mind for a reason, okay? And for some reason, for advice, I'm being told to tell you, you need to invite your logical mind in uh, a little bit more, okay? But the, 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 the downside to that is when you come to terms with truth and facts, and you know, you got to come to terms with truths and facts that you don't like, that, uh, that you may um, experience periods of cognitive dissonance and, and things of that nature. But that's part of the process, okay? That's part of the process. That is part of the expansion of consciousness. Just like it is extremely uncomfortable to go to the gym and get fit and build your muscles, it's extremely uncomfortable to work to expand your consciousness and push the walls of your mind out in the exact same way, okay? There is no evolution. There is no growth that is comfortable, okay? It all sucks, so, it just is what it is. So you got to do it anyway. <laughs> All right, four shuffles. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Things to watch out for and advice moving forward. Da -da -da. Okay, you don't need that. The tarot always loves to do that. The tarot always loves when I'm reading for a sign, giving advice and whatnot, to give me something that, like that sign, you are, you are the last sign that needs this advice. But maybe, I guess, even the best of us can uh, get sidetracked. Success. Okay, Capricorn? Didn't you write the book on how to become successful? Isn't that like your thing? Okay, well, anyway, just in case you needed this reminder, if you want success, Focus on success. Don't focus on the things that you don't like. Okay, we it's very easy for us all to fall into the trap of, okay, well, I want to get this goal. That goal is on the top of the mountain. So I'm going to focus all my energy, all of my attention on nothing but the obstacles and the challenges. No, 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 no. Face the obstacles and the challenges as they come. But don't sit and focus all of your energy on all of your challenges and obstacles. That is not, you don't focus on what, I'm sorry, you don't accomplish what you want by focusing on what you don't want. It doesn't work that way. But that, that we all fall into that trap from time to time. Okay, if you want success, focus on success. Okay, 
Um, blah, 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 blah. Watch out for people who will do anything that they can to avoid confrontation. Okay, now I'm not talking about, I'm not advocating that we go out and we start arguments and start fights and all that good stuff, but I am advocating that you know that one person that that they will just run, tuck their tail into a corner, in, in between their legs and run into a corner and hide uh, just to avoid confrontation. No, no, after a certain point, look, look at the, at the people in your life closest to you. If you're ever curious, if you're ever wondering, what frequency am I on? What uh, path am I on? Look around. Look around at the people closest to you. I don't care if you want them to be there or not. I don't care. Look at I, even somebody that you think that you have no control of whether or not they're in your life. A coworker, the person that works next to you, in the cubicle next to you, or next in, to you in line at the assembly line or whatever. Somebody that you wouldn't even think has anything to do with you. What path are they on? Okay, well, why are you in my life? How am I vibrating at a frequency that attracted you to being part of my everyday life? Look at the people in your life. And each and every person who is a part of your everyday life, ask yourself, what path are they on? It'll give you a real good fucking idea of the path that you're on. A real good idea. Oh, yes, it will. Oh, yes, it will. I know there's a lot of people who get mad about that and argue with me down there in the comments. Argue away. I don't give a shit what you have to say. That's very true. Those of us with eyes to see, we understand that. We understand that. I'm looking around at the people in my life. And if, if there's people in my everyday, day-to-day -day life who are headed down a path to nowhere, basically, if I have plans on keeping you in my life or keeping whatever going that makes you a part of my life, then I may be headed down a path to nowhere as well. That'll tell you everything you need to know if you look around at the people in your life. Okay, watch out for people who refuse to speak their mind. Okay, watch out for like, and we all, I'm not saying that, that uh, you know, um, you have to like articulate everything, but you know that one person that just, you're always, you always have questions like, okay, so what's, what are you thinking? What are you thinking about? What's going on? What, how are you feeling? You, you can never really tell. They'll never really open up. Like they'll never really tell you exactly what they think or exactly how they feel. Watch out for that, man. We ain't got no time for that. We ain't got no time for that. That's a, that's how you get a snake in the grass. Your snakes in the grass. You got people that act like that. Now I know there's a lot of introverts out there that are gonna get mad at me and say, "Oh no, I'm introverted. I don't." Nah, no, that's not what I'm talking about. Okay, even introverts. If you're not a snake in the grass, when you have to, you can speak your mind, can't you? It's not comfortable. You don't like to, but you can. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that person that refuses to speak their mind, refuses to tell you anything that they're thinking, anything that they're planning, anything that goes on inside them, absolutely refuses. Okay, well, you can you can refuse to speak out the door. Okay, I don't need you in my life then. You're either on my team or in my way. That's all there is to it. Okay? So, anywho, I feel like the messages my Capricorns needed to hear have come through. I'm going to go ahead and end it here, y'all. I greatly appreciate everybody that tuned in and played along. Remember, if you would like information on scheduling personal readings, everything you need to know is in the description, okay? So open the little, click the little drop down arrow, whatever side is on down there, and uh, read all that information if there's anything that you want to know. And I look forward to hearing from you in the email inbox, all right? I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, y'all. I'll see you sometime between now and the rest of all eternity, all right? Have a good one.